Artemis 1, the first test flight for the Space Launch System Mega Rocket and the Orion spacecraft. On board is Commander Munikin Campos, a mannequin wearing a next generation spacesuit called the Orion Crew Survival System. Munikin Campos is outfitted with sensors that will provide data to help protect astronauts on future Artemis missions. But why is this mannequin called Munikin Campos? The mannequin is named after Mexican-American electrical engineer Arturo Campos, a key player in the Apollo 13 astronauts' safe return to Earth. It was April 13, 1970, when Campos got a phone call in the middle of the night. Okay, we've had a problem here. It was night. We got a phone call. Our dad got a phone call. We heard our parents talking, so we went downstairs. Y preguntamos a mi mamá que que estaba pasando y dije que la NASA habló y estaban uh, teniendo problemas con la cohete. That's the day that my dad saved the astronauts. When Campos arrived at the Space Center in Houston, he learned that an oxygen tank in the Apollo 13 service module had ruptured. The service module's normal supply of electricity, light, and water had been lost, leaving astronauts Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes stuck in a damaged spacecraft about 200,000 miles away from Earth. The main challenge was to find a way to divert enough power from the lunar module to the command and service module's equipment system so that the astronauts could safely return to Earth. Fortunately, Campos had already written this procedure since he dreamed about it a year earlier. Campos, born in Laredo, Texas in 1943, showed an early interest in tinkering. He was a mechanic by nature. Yeah. Uh, he worked on autom automobiles. His father taught at, at the college auto mechanics. And so he learned mechanicking from his father. He received a a grant to go to the University of Texas in Austin. Eventually, Campos graduated from the University of Texas in electrical engineering and began working for NASA in the early 1960s, becoming one of the people in charge of the electrical systems in the Apollo program. When the problem surfaced during the Apollo 13 mission, Campos immediately began reconstructing his plan to provide sufficient power to the command module. He came up with the solution to give the batteries enough power to get those astronauts back here. And so they, they used it, and thank God, it got them back home. Campos and other members of the Apollo 13 mission received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1970. This means a whole lot. The President of the United States signed it. Not a lot of civilians got it and my dad did, and we couldn't be any prouder of dad. We could not be any prouder of my father. Campos passed away in 2001 at age 66, and his name has left an everlasting mark at NASA. Very proud of my dad. Absolutely, uh, Apollo 13 is his legacy. Estamos muy orgullosas. <laughs>